hello, hello. Hello, my name is Ginger. Welcome to Coffee Break Prayer. I'm a priest with the Celtic Christian Church, and it's Tuesday, and on Tuesdays, on Coffee Break Prayer with you, I like to pray prayers kind of riffing off the news. So if on your Coffee Break Prayer you're checking the headlines, or um, however you do that, I hope not on Facebook, but you never know, right? Um, whether you read the news, or like me, I read a newspaper online, or um, if you get your news from TV, however you do it, and, and let's hope it's from a reputable source, um, it's almost natural to respond to the news with prayer. I think a lot of us do it instinctively. Oh my God, or oh God, right? Let's turn those oh God um, into prayer. Okay, so for me, one of the things that struck me as I read the newspaper this morning is that I can get so easily caught up in what's happening in my own little world, you know, the, the news directly around my community, my country, my part of the world, and the things that I naturally tend to worry about. Like if you've been following Huffy Break Prairie, you probably may have noticed a certain pattern when I pray over the news on Tuesdays. We pray for a deeper respect for facts, for the truth. How do we do this? How, rescue us, O oh God, from lies. Help us to find um, truth. And the other thing that has been troubling me is, of course, a response to the pandemic, right? So today as I'm reading the newspaper, I realize, wow, there's so much horror going on, and I don't think we've ever prayed here about Ethiopia and the people of Tigray. So let's go ahead and do that today. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's because, sadly, in the United States, the conflict does not always reach headline status. But if you go to your favorite news source and um, Google Ethiopia or Tigray, T-I-G-R-A-Y, you'll find What's going on? So um, let's begin, as always, and bring these, this suffering, this human suffering, to our God um, in the hopes of mercy and in the spirit of repentance for the violence in our own hearts and the selfishness and fear, because a lot of this just boils down, of course, to... Well, anyway, let's begin. In the name of Abba, our Creator, Jesus, our Liberator, and the Spirit who is holy. Amen. Holy Spirit, we approach you today in the hopes of your kindness, hopes of your gracious comfort, not only for ourselves, but for all those who struggle, and especially for those who live in fear. Come, Holy Spirit. Help us all, by all, I mean all human beings in particular. I mean, the created cosmos in general. We, can be, we can't even be nice to each other. So, Lord, Holy Spirit, please help us to be kind. Open our hearts. Open our minds. Open our, open our dreams to include one another. So help us to come to this moment right now, and I hope, my friend, that you are safe right now, that you are in a place where you can catch your breath and not worry about um, violence. So I hope that is the case, and so let's begin by taking a couple deep breaths together to celebrate the safety, the peace, the security of this moment. We don't know what's coming even in 10 minutes. We don't know, you know, we don't understand necessarily what happened yesterday, but I hope that in this moment, you're in a place where you can stop. Okay, let's come back to now. So let's take two deep breaths together, however that works best for you. The idea again, let's come back to now. The way of saying now is important. We're praying. Let's come back to now so that I can be fully present as much or as present as possible right now. Have 
Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, how your heart must break when you look at the suffering of your children. And we especially entrust to your loving care today the people of Ethiopia, the people of Tigray, anyone who has fled their home, anyone who's hungry, anyone who is afraid of violence, and anyone who is tempted to violence. Yes, that you intervene in very practical ways. Come, Holy Spirit. Come and bless the whole land. Bless the land. Bless the people on it. Bless them with the opportunity to catch their breaths. Bless them with the opportunity to sleep in safety, to find enough food to eat today and maybe enough that they don't worry about feeding their children tomorrow. Mercy, O oh God. And I have the nerve to pray this as if you are not merciful and eager to heal. So I guess what I'm asking is that you help all of us, all of us, your partners here right here, right now, fill us with a sense of urgency and mercy and kindness and a sense of connection so that those people fleeing violence in Tigray and Ethiopia would be as if they were our own babies here in my own home. Oh, God, have mercy on us and help us to have mercy on one another. We ask that you bless all leaders at every level, especially in this particular conflict, with wisdom, wisdom, compassion, and courage. Courage to live the wisdom. Courage to enact, enact acts of kindness and compassion so that they could be blessings to their own people and help us all to support one another and to love one another and to care about one another. I don't even know what to ask. The depth of suffering is so great. So we ask just the greatness that is you, who is you, to fill us and especially to fill Everything about this situation so that new life and new hope can form. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, friend, for joining me through this. Can you tell it was inscripted through this unscripted prayer? And um, I hope that you are blessed today. And be blessed, dear one, in the name of Abba, our Creator. Jesus, our liberator, and the spirit who is holy. Amen.